And we're back, Human Nuggets here with some more, well, not more, but some Pacific Drive content for you today. Um, I was looking for a new kind of, almost linear, like it's not truly linear, but um, it is definitely a story driven game here to play, and this popped up in my discovery queue. Um, I have played a couple of missions just to test that everything is working and running smoothly, but I have not gotten very far into the game, so it's mostly still new to me. Um, but it's a... Uh, it's a car game. Uh, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, that intro drive part is just kind of teaching you how to use the wipers and uh, lights, which have hotkeys, but they do also have actual interactable things, which is cool. Um, can't do it in this car, but but um, once you get into the actual game, like all the doors and everything are interactable, and it's pretty cool to watch. Um, but this is the the big ass exclusion zone that the government has set up, uh, where they did some experiments, and now no one is allowed in or out. And you can see that it's kind of leaking out a little bit. Um, which I'm sure we shouldn't be concerned about at all. Definitely not at all. Yeah, we kind of get yoinked. Let's see. We're now on the wrong side of the wall. I think we were meant to be like a delivery person taking something from a shipment or... I, I don't know. Alright, now we just gotta... Follow the floating remains of our car. There we are, we got our good old, I don't know, like, 80s station wagon. Clearly, you know, with a, a kind of Mercedes-esque logo. If I were to get, like, a classic station wagon, I'd probably want, like, a Holden HX or something. Normally I prefer Fords, but um, oh uh, yeah. You gotta actually use... I forget all the time, but you gotta actually use the gear shifter. There's a key and everything. And yeah, we got these guys talking to us. Giving us some of the law. Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? But uh Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? Yeah, we can't respond to them. They, they, they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. But if they're stranded, could they mean they're from outside? They're a preacher. Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And uh, if we, we got don't sucked. Get safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey, you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Your closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. And then we 
just got the trunk gun. And yeah, so the the anomalous zone is kind of alive. Um, there it is again, that blip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? No kidding. Could it be? The remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this breacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy Christ! No one's here working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Not good maintenance, clearly. This, uh, this car is not in good nick. I'm also going too fast. You don't have uh, a handbrake yet. So no sick skids. You find that shelter, go on and or at least not deliberately. I ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. Uh, I think I just lost a wheel. I'm just parking, the, like obviously, instinctively the first time I pulled up here. But um, I know that you open that, so. And yeah, we just steal someone's house. That's not really a house. Okay, uh, the shop. The guy has been breached. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I... Ow! Oh, my head. Uh, Sign emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. Can I get out of my car? Send a to your garage on um, official zone business. Now we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant which has taken the form of a car and well, uh... Get off the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super official zone business. Protocol, uh, demands... That you there we are, finally let me out. we can get them to safety. Now if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I personally written that ten years and seventeen volumes and God, that voice is like a nail gun to the skull. Yeah, just stay distracted so, though while I rob you of everything. Another breach, uh huh? How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that three hundred meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Actually, Wait. um I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Oh, God, unfortunately, the barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Hey, my hands are fine. But yeah, basically we're stuck in here now. And we have a mildly haunted car. Oh, and a living dumpster. And then, yeah, this is, uh, where kind of the, uh, survival aspect of the game starts to come in. You gotta 
gather all your resources and uh, instead of, you know, upgrading yourself or a base, you're upgrading your car, and it's cool. Um, reminds me kind of of uh, Choo Choo Charles in that sense, but the actual game mechanics are completely different, and it's nothing like Choo Choo Charles, but uh, just the fact that your, your entire operations are based around a vehicle is something I haven't seen done too many times at least. Yeah, we got some slightly magical repair, buddy. And then, yeah, we can just steal this wheel here. Somehow. Then we have wheels again. <laughs> Definitely how I would go about reattaching a wheel, you know. Just give her a couple of taps and you'll be fine. Oh yeah, um... The car, the car door hurts you if you get hit by it, which I find fucking hilarious. Oh, <clears throat> there's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car. Yeah. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck. You should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. So it does actually... huh. I didn't test this out last time. But so it does just stay flat, it wasn't just a tutorial kind of thing. state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. Mild grass Don't know what the three hours actually means. An it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, 
You'll need to build a new antenna. And I gotta say, I'm but glad it's not a fucking manual and I have to shift it all the time. I prefer driving manuals in real life to orders just because it's more engaging, but fuck, imagine that. Uh, yeah, now we're in the non-safe part of the anomalous okay, zone. I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. Right, I don't have a hand The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. But that's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. The Arc device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. I don't know how much, like, materials I actually am going to need. I do know that I want to scan, like, everything there. Just because I know that the, uh, like, upgrade research is locked behind whether you've scanned something or not. Um, I didn't know that for a while last time, and I hadn't been scanning stuff unless it told me to. Impact hammer, I need gas cylinder, I need to make it gear. Well, I don't think they're going to worry too much about me robbing them. I don't think they're coming back. Damn, I wasted crafting a gear for nothing. Ah, well, tools do have durability, as you can see from them little white bars down the bottom. So, uh, it won't go to waste, that's for sure. I can just press space, that's way more helpful. Now let's go break some shit. Big ass fucking handheld piston. And may as well cut this down over here. I'm already seeing so much shit I never encountered last time. 
I don't know how to get into these buildings though. Or if you even can. Oh. Because some things have like a little lock on them with that symbol that you can break with the impact hammer, but these don't seem to be able to. I also don't know if stuff can like fall out of your trunk when you um if you leave it open or anything. And there's our first little anomaly. And he's gonna try and steal my car now. Hang on. There we are. Just forceful disconnect. I don't know if that's how you actually meant to deal with them, but um, that's what I do. Probably steal some fuel as well, huh? Already forgetting the game mechanics. Oh, this one doesn't have any, just to make me look like a fool. It also says at the start to like stick to the roads. I don't know how much that actually matters. Did I? Okay, I just gotta have it in my head. I was like, did I fucking just drop that on the ground somewhere? I don't know how much it actually matters to stick to the roads. Or if I could just fucking bush bash all the way. I know I'd like pop tires and stuff, what I more mean. I don't know if it's safer from anomalies and crap on the road. Um, kind of an interesting concept. I also think that this map is always the same, but um, after this first world, it's procedural generation. Fuck, there's a, there's a quick take all button. Of course there is. I've been wasting so much time doing that.
Let's not get abducted again, preferably. No. Oh, and I can see that. Ah, it's not fucked yet, it's just at low health. some fuel. You don't know how hard to come by, or uh, kind of how rare these materials get in the harder zones, so I'm kind of just trying to grab them all for now. Especially these plasma things, they seem important. Ah, and this is the door I was talking about how you can just pop her open. That's how we do the quick transfer. Alright, while we're here, I think we've got enough that we may as well chuck on the missing panels of our car. You can see it on a little display. Now all we're missing is a headlight, and I don't really care about that. I will down the line, but for now, we got pretty much everything, just with an almost broken front wheel. That's not on my map, that direction there. That's the kind of thing I was talking about where I was like, do I want to wander off or am I better off just going for it? Nice. Definitely not creepy at all. With little humanoid esque anomalies. Oh, you caught a tourist. Oh, don't kick the tourist. Okay. I did get an achievement for it though. But. Ah, oh, okay, cool. The radiation goes away. Alright, I can kick the Taurus just fine. In. Intermission. <laughs> ah, hey, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, 
I don't think that they're, they're not like, you know, a weeping angel type enemy, I don't think. Could be fucking wrong. I still, yeah, I really know jack shit about this game. I'm assuming that's all, like, you know. Oh. Did you guys move, or is there just more of you? Hmm. Maybe I should be concerned about that. Man, even though I don't feel like I'm actually in danger, they are good at building atmosphere and making you on edge. Like, even just that pillar coming out of the ground was like, oh fuck, what's happening? Am I dead? And it's just more of them fucking people things. But also, I thought that this place was, um, the same every time, just because the, it had kind of been, like, I know that after this it was different, but that, uh, that whole fuel station area is completely different than last time I was here. And I'm taking a bunch of damage being in all this radiation. Oh, I also- hang on, hang on. I know I'm taking damage to do this, but I realized I didn't have all my panels on. Now we can go. Yeah, at least so far I'm not really concerned about my own health, because there's the as far as I'm aware, infinite health pack back at the main base. And it's more your car you have to worry about out in the world, from my understanding. Like, if you die, sure, mission fails. But I haven't encountered too many things that make me concerned about that. Oh, I never actually scanned a plasma generator? That might be problematic. I was just breaking them all, but scanning one is my mission. Hmm.
the instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. I don't think he likes us very much. Just a hunch though, you know? Let's just take the short way down. I'm sure my car loves me for that. And I think all of that uh stuff with the the second set or I guess first set of NPCs that were talking to us I think that's all um, like law based so they make it so that you can read it if you want but they don't make you um, so you just intermittently kind of get logs from all that Nice and radioactive. Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face recently. Has anyone used them recently to have them explode? The Octavice is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage. But it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. Hey. Hey, fucko. Not cool. Oh, alright. I turned the car off. Which means it just dropped me. There. Yeah. If they just nicely put me down, that's not as concerning. So what's the thing on the map up here? Oh, huh, just another one of these. Can I grab multiple? Everything doesn't seem to hate me for that. I'm not going all the- oh, maybe it does. But I'm not going all the way back to the start to get those other ones. like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Yes, yes, yes. We're on our way. See, I mean, if no one's had a car for ages, why does she have the, like, car teleportation technology? Remember people, speed doesn't kill. Abruptly slowing down, that's what kills you. 
man. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Well, let's hope I can loop around at the bottom, because it did not want to go up there. There we go. That could have been a lot smoother. <laughs> but we go into the giant pillar in the sky. And now we're back here. Antenna. Ah, fuck it, we'll just go around. Slowly, you slightly magical antenna. Friendly. Coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. That wasn't that exciting, dumpster. We could finally deliberately do skills. Keep them there for Justin. Hopefully we shouldn't, you know, take too much damage, but you never know. I'm very clumsy. Man, how, how quick is the cooldown on this thing? Uh, yeah. You have more health, me as well.
Hmm, that... that isn't hurting me at all. Being completely different. Um... Can we get two upgrades on the wheels, or just the one? Alright, we'll be able to get that next time. And I want... I don't have enough. I oh, know, additional required. Steel sheet. Where the fuck is that? Cool. I just want the bumper in particular, because, like, obviously that's what hits things first. So it makes most sense to me to upgrade it first. Oh, hey, it's like the window's actually cr That's cool. I hadn't had that happen before. There we are. And you know what, you can go in the trunk. I didn't know that was there. We can listen to some royalty free bops. Ready to make this remnant verification a one and done thing? I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. I mean, you shut Tobias fixed, up anyway, so. Stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so... Your call. Alright, so it shows you how everything expands. I think this is the actual... main objective there, because it's got the little... I still don't know what the hours underneath it means. I don't think they explained that, and I just wasn't paying attention, but it's possible. We could have had some royalty-free bops this entire time. Probably should have looked at what was special about this. All oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we are. Now, among all those accidental skids, I can do some actual skids. Nah, not really. It is more of just an actual break. Oh, can I not just steal stuff like that's That's a way better wheel than mine. Can I not just steal it? It showed that it had full health.
Now, I don't want spoilers, but if any of you guys have played the game, can you let me know? Do I actually, like, how much time should I actually be spending breaking everything up? Oh, I have a flat. <laughs> and I didn't bring anything, so. Uh. Yeah, you're just a spare, not a uh, normal tire, so. We'll just leave some waste on the side of the road. And we got electrocuted. I have a fear about the future. So if I hit them, will they literally just like fucking explode my car? Alright, I mean, I do want to go on to the second place, but I also want lots of energy. Because we need that for all the, the research thing doohickeys we gotta do. And the fact that half of things are on E to interact, half are on click, that is really getting to me. More decals. I was out here somewhere. Ah, there we are. Caught a glimpse of it through the trees. Glowing goop. I'm. I'm sure this is fine. Ah well, what's the worst that could happen? That's, that's a lot of orange. What, like, overheating and I don't know. I don't know what the symbols mean in this game. The numbers, Mason. And part of my car's just 
electric now. I guess we're good for the environment. <laughs> Like, I'm assuming, oh, I'm assuming in the higher difficulties, you know, getting out of your car and looting shit like this is a lot more concerning. Because for right now, this game, uh, you know what, I actually will eat that as well. Has just been pretty cruisy. Did you just turn around or am I fucking imagining shit? Oh. Nice little buzz saw, don't cut me in half. Let's turn that down just a, uh, just a bit. I feel like I should probably... I feel like the engines probably are uh, pretty important. I mean, I put it back to full health, but it still has the overheating effect, so I don't know. If I'm gonna get hit, even if I try backing up, am I just meant to pay more attention? Or am I just better off fucking going straight through that? Oh, what the fuck? What's the big ass fucking green globe? I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's just uh, keep on keeping on. With our already almost broken car, because I'm really not careful, even though it's my entire lifeline. Oh, that's a confusing ass God, map. Sierra. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Edor Town, Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. Am I meant to know what it is?
Mm, you know what, I probably should just make some more parties, shouldn't I? Oh. Never mind, I have no chemicals. Um. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, My engine's in. You're driving straight towards the largest Honkin anomaly in the zone? You wanted to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. Well, that's ominous. Are you sure about this? Well, they'll be fine. It's not fine. Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cap is still giving off after all these years. But to achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but Oppie's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're gonna take her side? This isn't about sides. It's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. For all I care, they can lay down and wait until the instability takes them. That would get them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. Man, just nobody likes us. Let's... let's not. <laughs> Hopefully there's some chemicals in here. Or in here. Thanks, I guess. Oh, a dumpster pearl. I know they're good. I, I, I'm not fully aware of what they are. I've just... One of the few things I've heard about this game was that they are good. What are you? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeet. Come on, chemicals. doors that I don't know how to get in and out of. If you even can, it's entirely possible that that's just saying you can't go in here.
Hmm, that is a lot of radiation. Oh, no response. Maybe you need to get closer to Cappy's core way up there. Can you find a way to high ground? Oh, uh, you tell me that now. Come on, there's got to be a way around for me somewhere. Hmm, danger. That's what we like. Broken? No, just almost. I completely forgot it would tell you what's wrong with it. There we are. Just whack her a few times. Uh. Man, I wish working on cars was that easy in real life. My car would be on the road again if it was. Oh, look, my car would be on the road again if I wasn't so good at procrastinating. When I gotta reassemble my fucking steering rack. And, um, that's, that's not something I'm looking forward to doing, because I know it is an absolute bitch. Oh, did I get two or just a fuck? No, not, I didn't want to look at that one button. Hmm. Am I accidentally doing the things I'm meant to be doing? I mean, that light's green now, but I don't know what the difference is.
Yes, more chemicals. They can repair at least a little bit of my car. else is red. There's doors on either side. Should I be concerned about you guys? Oh nice, that does work on wheels. You know, when I first thought these, I thought they might be like, you know... Are still not close enough to Cappy. What now? How about, uh, uh, launching the car into Cappy's core? This is a terrible idea, isn't it? Oh. I guess not that terrible of an idea. Happy about that. Out, didn't it? The gateway got you out, and it looks like the arc device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive. And my plan worked. Cappy amplified the car signal and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Haha, <laughs> get a drive? You're not just going to keep muting their transmissions anymore? Uh. Matter Deconstructor. But I can make gears. I don't know if I can make electronics or not. So I gotta find those, I guess? I actually like the look of that one better. Is it cheaper to make a new one or repair stuff? I don't know, but um... With that, and it kind of being... Up to where we are, I think that's where we will leave it for today. I do plan on continuing this and playing through the whole game. Um... But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. I'm assuming the game will get a bit more hectic as we go on, and I 
we'll catch you in the next one.